You goodness. are teaching so. Justin how to pull you in. Where I have you seen that. this? I don't think people realize how involved she was in this movie. Um, I mean, she's a producer on the film from the beginning to the end. She was extremely involved and she really made the film better. After much anticipation, It Ends With Us has finally hit theaters. But the rumor drama surrounding the film has been getting more attention than the movie itself. Hey, Lily, you want to do the honors? No, you go ahead. I, I need to take it in from here. Well, just hoping you'd say that, okay? <laughs> Although the film adaptation of Colleen Hoover's book touches on important topics and brought in $50 million at the box office opening weekend, people can't stop talking about the potential rift between the film's director and male lead, Justin Baldoni and his co-star and producer, Blake Lively. It all started earlier this month, when fans noticed that Blake and Justin didn't do any press together. Justin has done interviews alone, while Blake has been paired up with other castmates. The cast also did an interview with Vanity Fair, but Justin was noticeably absent. Hello, we're the cast of It Ends With Us, and today we are testing how well we know each other with Vanity Fair. Speculation of a potential riff got worse after fans noticed Justin wasn't included in any of the group photos from the New York City premiere. He also spoke to reporters more than an hour before Blake and the rest of the cast arrived. But despite rift rumors on the carpet, Justin gushed over his co-stars while talking to Access Hollywood. Uh, I'm most proud of the people that came together to make this movie. Um, this incredible cast, Colleen, Blake, Jenny, Brandon, Isabella, uh, Jenny, Hassan, Alex, like this, this amazing cast and an amazing crew. And uh, I'm just, I couldn't be more grateful. After the premiere, speculation only got worse after fans started analyzing the star's social media activity, noticing that Justin follows Blake, Colleen, and other castmates while they don't follow him back. This raised eyebrows because during the development phase of the movie, Justin and Colleen appeared on each other's Instagrams multiple times. So what are you doing? We are reading the script for It Is With Us, and I might be sniffling a little bit. Fans further speculated the tension may have been caused by Blake and her husband Ryan Reynolds' creative input on the film. What's your name? Lily. You? Ryle. At the New York premiere, Blake revealed Ryan's involvement to E! News, admitting he helped write the pivotal balcony scene in the movie. We help each other, we work together so much. The, the, the iconic rooftop scene in this movie, my husband actually wrote it. Nobody knows that but you now. He works on everything I do, I work on everything he does, so his wins, his celebrations are mine, and, and mine are his. I mean, he's all over this film. Sources told The Hollywood Reporter there was a fracture among the filmmakers in the post-production process when two different cuts of the film emerged. Blake reportedly commissioned her own cut of the film from Deadpool and Wolverine editor Shane Reed. It's unknown if his cut made the final version, but he wasn't listed as an editor during the end credits. However, another source told The Hollywood Reporter that Blake's cut doesn't necessarily mean there's a feud, because it's common for several cuts of a film to emerge in post-production. However, Blake did allude to some of the rumored creative clashes in an interview with Hits Radio, admitting they wanted her to take out a Lana Del Rey song from the film. Did also scream when I heard Cherry by Lana Del Rey. Right? Yeah. Screamed. They begged me to take that movie out, that song out of the movie. Why? I'm not supposed to be talking about this, <laughs> but um, because they felt like it was um, like too charged and heavy, and things are still good with Ryle at that point, so you don't want to feel that charge. And I was like. The moment Atlas enters, things are charged and yeah. heavy. Like it, what there's there's conflict, there's pain, there's turmoil, there's tension because you're like, oh my god, my soulmate, the one that mm -hmm. got away, my life, this person who's haunting me and everything I do and everywhere yeah. I go is here now, and yeah. we still had that connection. Yeah. And you can be deeply in love with this person, but this person comes in and you're like, your insides are gonna be a mess. Yeah. So that's why. Lana knows. Lana knows. Yeah. It's just like it like it hits after that and you're There's like, a oh, weight to it. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh no, she's screwed. And it's not a love triangle at all. It's just about like how she feels in her gut and she yeah. knows like the the love and the pull and then the guilt of even just feeling something like that. But some tension may have begun before the film made it to the editing phase, with various behind the scenes shots of Blake seemingly directing Justin going viral. During an interview with Access, she dodged a question about Justin while addressing how she had input in filming intimate scenes. The chemistry with Justin 
also was <laughs> off the charts. I mean, really, truly, you, you fell in love with both couples, you know, with Lily, with both of them. And Blake, you always have a vision. Mm -hmm. So talk to me about how sometimes you were even the intimacy coordinator in some of those sexier <laughs> scenes. Like we saw you. That shouldn't be happening, by the way. <laughs> um, I just want to be clear that <laughs> you should not be the intimacy coordinator. You should definitely hire intimacy coordinators, which we did have. Well, thank you goodness. You were teaching so. Justin how to pull you in. Where I have you seen that. this? That <laughs> clip? I actually just saw it too. It was on really? Instagram yesterday, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that like, you know, romance is really important. You're supposed to, um, you know, tell a story uh, well and make people feel, but you're also supposed to do it in a way that, um, uh, yeah, is like safe and respectful for all. Um, so yeah, I guess that's the role of intimacy coordination. But um, yeah, when I think of my involvement in the film, I don't really see that as, as the, <laughs> the, the thing that I did. I did uh, probably everything else. Um, um, yeah. You touched on everything else here and there. But um, but yeah, we were really lucky to, to, I was, I'm fortunate to be able to have had, um, you know, such a all encompassing experience on, uh, on this film and, and Colleen too. Justin also admitted to Access that he purposely took a step back while filming certain scenes to allow for a woman's perspective to come through and talked about Blake directing him at some moments. I don't think people realize how involved she was in this movie. Um, I mean, she's a producer on the film from the beginning to the end. She was extremely involved and she really made the film better. And there were many instances where I honestly just tried to get out of the way and let her take the lead. And especially as when, when, it, like, when it came to intimacy and all of that, like she had a very clear vision and she was telling me what she thought would work and what she thought would be sexy. And from the very beginning, this had to have a female point of view. This had to have a female gaze. Of course. And I didn't ever want my bias as a man to, um, to, to infiltrate or hurt the project in any way. Because the one thing that I don't know is what it's like to have the experience of a woman. Um, there's nothing that I could ever do, no matter how many women are in my life and, and how many women I talk to, I could never embody that. So trusting the women around me and trusting Blake in that way to just guide me was like such a gift. Since the film's release, Justin has spoken about the reported friction on set and how challenging it was to balance everything. Telling LUK, quote, it's very challenging to act and direct and especially with a project like this. There was a lot of pressure playing such a complex role like Ryle, and of course, as a filmmaker, you're always navigating personalities, he said, adding. There are all these things that happen every day on set. There's always friction that happens when you make a movie like this. Then at the end of the day, it's that friction, I believe, that creates the beautiful art. Everything in life needs friction to grow. And look, we created something so beautiful and so magical, and it was hard, and it was worth it at the same time. And I grew so much as both a filmmaker and an actor and a person throughout this experience. Justin had similar remarks during our sit down interview with him admitting Blake made him a better actor. And honestly, directing myself, a lot of that had to do with, you know, the, the, the brilliance of Blake Lively and being able to act with this powerhouse and, and react in real time. And, you know, she was so generous as an actress and, there were so many times where she would whisper something to me and it would really change the way that I thought about something. And also what was so interesting is that, you know, I only have so much of an ability to be objective when I am in that role. And Ryle's such a complex character. I didn't want to just jump in and out. And so there were times when I was trying something because I didn't know exactly how far I wanted to take an emotion or a feeling with Ryle. And as I would try something in a scene, I would, I would, watch as Ryle, Blake playing Lily, react in a way that I didn't see before. And then I was able to go, oh, I went too far. And then I could pull it back because she's such a, she's such a wonderful listener. Mm. Um, so having her as a scene partner uh, just, you know, made, made me better. But despite his positive words towards Blake, rumors of cast drama hasn't slowed down. And as a result, Justin reportedly hired veteran public relations crisis manager, Melissa Nathan. She has previously represented Johnny Depp during his trial with Amber Heard, according to The Hollywood Reporter. Blake has also seemingly responded to backlash over how the film has been marketed, sharing on August 14th the number to a domestic violence hotline on her Instagram story. 
but despite all the drama, it ends with us is performing well at the box office. It came in number 